Hi, I'm Neil. I'm 37 from Bristol and I am a fire and security installer. Um, I've been watching a lot of the videos over the past few days on the channel, uh, seeing different people's opinions on coronavirus and all the rest of the stuff that's going on. And I just thought I'd make a quick video to um, give my two cents on it, really. Uh, I don't really know where to start. It's a very strange um, world we're living in at the moment. Um, and I'll just, I'll just think, I just don't see how it's gonna play out really at the moment. I, I've, I've always questioned things and um, believe that there's something else going on behind the scenes for a long time. But I've, obviously, there's so much information out there. You, you can drive yourself mad thinking about it. So you don't know what to believe. Um, one thing I don't believe is all the crap they put on the news 24 hours a day to to scare people and push them into a state of anxiety. It's just I, what they're doing to people by all this stuff that they're feeding them on the news is just just disgusting, really. It's just it's just a joke. The media have got a lot to answer for. The government, the government are well. I don't think they know what they're doing. I mean. Look at the bloke that's leading it. He, how, how is he the leader of a country? You take one look at the bloke and he's just not a leader, is he? He's just an absolute buffoon. He just... I just... I just despair, really. I don't know where we're going to go from here. Um, what scares me the most is the amount of people you see about and they're scared out of their wits. They're wearing these stupid masks. Everywhere they go, they're sat in their cars, driving along with a mask on, on their own. You look at them and you think, what are you doing? Why, why are you sat in a car on your own with a mask on? I mean, they got to be, their mind has got, what sort of places their mind got to be in it? They just cannot be thinking straight to be doing that. Um, I just don't understand it. I just, and the amount of people that they won't question anything, they just believe everything they're told on the mainstream media, the BBC... My parents included, I've, I've had arguments with my parents by it. I said, look, I said, I said, you've got to start looking at things from a different angle. You can't believe everything you, you, you're shown on that, on the television all the time. It's just, it's just, it's just bullshit, to be honest. I just don't understand how they, I just don't see how they can not question it and just blindly follow it. I can't talk to them about it anymore because it just ends up in argument and... To be honest, I don't want to fall out of them about it. It's just, if they want to do that, then they want to believe everything they're told, and that's up to them. I just, I got my opinion, and they got theirs. We don't talk about it, so that's fine. Um, and the vaccine, this vaccine, what? Trying to get the whole world to take a vaccine for something that's not more deadly than the normal flu just seems a bit over the top to me. And if people can't see that that is... Um, there's got to be something else to that, trying to force this vaccine on everyone. Every single person. I don't know what the vaccine, I don't know what the, the plan for this vaccine is. I don't know what they're... I've, I've heard of all these depopulation agendas and this, that and the other. But like I said, you don't know what to believe. There's so much of it going around that you just can drive yourself mad thinking about it, really. I mean... What happens if they, if they say to me, if you don't have this vaccine, you can't go to work, you can't earn money, you can't pay for food, you can't support your family? What you're sort of cornered, really, aren't you? What are you going to do? You just got to cross that bridge when it comes to. I don't want to have the vaccine. Not a million years is there any way I want to have the vaccine, but um, I don't know. Um, and the amount of people that are are waking up. I don't think there are that many really. I know there's a few videos going around now of people voicing their opinions, questioning things, but they're few and far between, I think, really. The the vast majority of the population are just I hate the word cheap, but they are. They just follow everything they're told and they won't even question it. So I don't really know how there's going to be a great awakening of all these people that's like we're so outnumbered it's ridiculous I mean I don't know there needs to be some sort of dem some sort of 
some of it's got to be done to show the government that people are slowly waking up, but the amount of people that are waking up, they're, it's really insignificant, I think, at the moment, until there's... I know there was that thing in Berlin the other day, there were a million people, fair play, that was, a, that was a lot of people, but that needs to be going on all over the world to 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 really make an impact. One country's not going to... It's not going to slow this thing down, really. I don't know... And what's the end goal? Where is it all? Where is it all going to end? I don't. I don't know. I just. I just got to take it one day at a time and just see how it goes. Really, I, I hope to see a lot more videos on your channel of people who are waking up. But um, I just thought I'd make a quick video because I've been watching them for the last few days and I wouldn't normally do it. But I thought, well, I might as well put something out there. At least I've uh, voiced my opinion on it. 